across the area in the 70s and a little bit of a breeze, which yeah. is nice. And we're going to get chilly tomorrow. So I've heard. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I think it's going to feel pretty cool to us considering that we were in the 80s for much of last week. Now, today we did have a lot of sunshine across the area after those clouds this morning sort of pulled apart. It's a pretty decent afternoon, breezy conditions, and we're going to keep uh, things kind of clear through the evening hours, and then we'll bring some clouds back overnight. And it's going to be a cool, rainy Sunday, especially the early part of the day, and then mostly dry as we look ahead at this coming week with seasonal temperatures that'll be in the 70s. Not so much tomorrow, though. We're at about 52 degrees. Highs in the 60s Monday and then a stretch of 70s, which is more normal. Overnight lows are going to take a little dip here. Some low 40s for Monday morning and Tuesday morning. And in the mountains, we could actually have some upper 30s in the forecast. So can't totally rule out frost in some of those mountain towns. High this afternoon is up to 75. That's close to normal. We're still kind of sitting in the 70s in most of our communities. Yakimville at 72, Eden at 74, 69 in Mount Airy. Dry skies across much of the areas. We talked about the top of the newscast, though not so for Montgomery County. Earlier this afternoon, we had a really intense thunderstorm. Severe thunderstorm warning issued for that for large hail that moved through the Troy community. So you can see a little streak of hail as it pushed through the area. And then we had reports of large hail well over an inch in diameter. In fact, one report that was more than two inches in diameter came out of Montgomery County EOC, egg to tennis ball size hail. We're in the marginal risk zone earlier today and now that storm zone is really focused farther to the south along that front. So we don't have any storm threat in our area for tonight. This front's going to come through and kind of cool us off and then we'll allow for that rain to come in on top of that. So for tonight it's dry for your evening plans. Overnight, early tomorrow morning, we have some wet weather, and then that'll last for most of the day. By afternoon, we'll start to see the rain moving away and the clouds potentially thinning some. Daybreak tomorrow, kind of soggy, and notice that it's cool with temperatures in the 40s across much of the area. For most of the day, when it's raining, it will be in the 40s. Once the rain ends, then we may get temperatures to bump up into the 50s. And if you get some sunshine, you could be in the upper 50s tomorrow. Rainfall totals about a quarter to a half of an inch expected, so it's light to moderate rain. We're not anticipating any storms. So as we go through the day tomorrow, we may see highs in the low 50s in the triad as that rain tapers off by late afternoon. It should come to an end a little bit sooner by early afternoon in the foothills. Temperatures in the low to maybe mid 50s if you get some sun. For the mountains, the rain is mainly in the morning, and then we should have just some clouds by late day. And of course, tomorrow night is for time for the Lyrid meteor shower. And our forecast right now has dry skies with that rain moving away, but we're looking at some clouds around. But of course, with that Lyrid meteor shower, you could see some 10 to 20 meteors per hour. It's a minor shower, not quite as many meteors as you'll see with the Perseids in August. Here's your seven day forecast. You'll notice that this week is a pretty nice week. We've got highs that are in the 70s. We've got mostly dry conditions with just some passing clouds. You're watching WXII.